Frank, I think Wembley is still in a little bit of shock at how quick that was and how conclusive that was from Zili Zhang. Uh, just from your thoughts, first of all, let's touch on Joe. Um, your thoughts in there and what you saw tonight in the only three rounds. Well, sorry, I can't hear too well with the music. Um, well, it's very disappointing. The first couple of rounds he got it right. He was moving to the guy's left. And uh, then he stood toe to toe. And he got caught with an extremely good punch. And that was it. He got caught with a punch. You know, if he'd have continued to do what he's doing in the first couple of rounds and got him into, I think, the past five or six rounds, it would be interesting to see where the fight went. But he got caught with a really good shot. And that was it. More than anything else, Frank, um, we can speak about Joe's future, but Zhili Zhang, of course, now puts himself into that position for the WBO. What is his future? I know that, obviously, there's a close relationship between you and his team. Well, he's, he's uh, got a promotional deal with us. Um, he is in a position as the WBO interim champion now, that he's the mandatory challenger for their title. And next year, probably about mid, mid, mid next year, um, WBO will order a mandatory and it'll be in the corner with who's ever holding the WBO belt. You know the boxing on TNT doesn't stop here because we get ourselves ready next month for another one. <laughs> I said if the boxing on TNT doesn't stop, we know we're getting ourselves ready for another one. And the battle of the two kingdoms as they turn around and calling it at this moment in time, Tyson Fury and Francis Ngannou. I mean, get yourself ready first of all, you're going to look sharp. I know you're going to look sharp in Saudi. I'm going to have to look sharp out there. Look, it's um, the battle of the baddest, two guys from two different disciplines, the best of their respective sports. Um, I, think it's, I, I think it's simply going to be a shootout. I think it's going to be exciting. I can't see Nagano outboxing Tyson. I really can't see that. I've watched a lot of his fights now in UFC. I've never been into UFC, but I've watched a lot of it. He's got a lot of power, he's strong. And, he's, and, and if you look at UFC, it's, it's a more a bit of a roughhouse sport than boxing. And the only way I can see him beat Tyson, he's going to have to rough him up for him to impose himself and let them shots go. So logically, people think Tyson to get on his bike and jab. But if you look at Tyson's last four or five fights, he's stood toe to toe with punches like he did with Deontay Wilder on three occasions. So I think you're going to get a massive, massive shootout. Ain't going to last long, but why it lasts, it's going to be exciting. And it's going to be a huge event, huge event.